And joining us now live. Jonathan, give us a take. What, what's been happening in bond markets overnight? What can we learn? Good afternoon, Carrington. Look, uh, it was pretty subdued, really. We had the, the weak uh, jobs number unemployment report from the States, and that tightened the uh, US Treasury market by a couple of points across the curve. Uh, we've not really seen anything uh, specifically market-wide. We're really looking at, uh, from an international bond perspective, there's been the new lawsuit come out from the Brazilian government against the Samarco JV, uh, so that affects BHP, and we've seen their subordinated bonds that we like particularly trade off about uh, 75 cents to a dollar, but still in the sort of uh, mid to high fives for a five or ten year exposure on those global bonds. Okay, it's fascinating. Uh, we've got the RBA releasing the statement of monetary policy tomorrow. Do you expect that's going to have any impact on, on bonds? Look, obviously, after the rate cut this week, uh, that was the main thing that affected the bond market. I think that the statement of monetary policy will be effectively used to, to justify that decision and, mm. and give us some insights into what their future thinking is. I mean, the market's already really pricing in another cut, probably in, in August, I would suggest. Um, so, you know, if the language is vastly different to uh, that expectation, then we might see some, uh, we might see some yields rise on the, on the Australian bond market as a result. Jonathan Sheridan, thank you so much for your time. Thanks. Go back to my guest host, Gary Byrne. I want to get your take now because we had uh, we've had quite a volatile week, which is to be.